What is good you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel, the number one place for new dropshippers and e-commerce store owners. My name is Margarita and today we're going to go deep into the five things that you need to know if you're thinking about starting a dropshipping store now in 2021. Okay, so the first thing that you need to know if you're starting dropshipping in 2021 is that this is not a get rich quick scheme. This is actually going to take you some time to really fully understand how to run a profitable marketing campaign like on Facebook or Snapchat or Google. You need to learn kind of what a good product looks like that you can sell profitably online. And there's just a lot of things that you're going to learn with experience, but just be prepared to learn before you earn. And that's when a lot of people just stop because they don't see results as fast as they think they will so just know that if you're coming in in 2021 that you are gonna have to be persistent be patient and definitely problem solve just know that if you are the type of person that's gonna come across one problem and quit then drop shipping is not for you and that is just me being honest i am not trying to be mean that is literally just trying to be honest just know i'm not trying to scare you but i'm trying to be realistic with you and it's honestly not as easy to start now as it used to be but for those one percent who really stick with it you see the one percent all the time and they're killing it you i know for a fact you've seen people drop shipping who are killing it and then there's so many people who try and just stop and it's because they didn't stay consistent with it so it's up to you you're gonna make the decision you're either gonna start and stay consistent and create a system and make it work or you're gonna try it out and see that it's kind of a little bit too hard for you and that is completely fine there's way a lot of other things that you can do you don't have to drop ship from Shopify you can literally do whatever you want just whatever you do same thing applies to this start and just keep on going no matter what and just believe in yourself stay consistent and believe in yourself and have faith that you are working towards something great thing that you need to know if you're coming into dropshipping in 2021 is actually a misconception that you might be having right now which is that shipping is going to take super long and people are not going to wait the 30 days that it takes for products to arrive to them so something really important to know is that yeah shipping does take long if you drop ship the old way but there's new ways of drop shipping that maybe a lot of people aren't talking about for example if you message your supplier on aliexpress you can actually ask them for faster shipping options you can be like what shipping method are you using do you have any faster shipping methods and how can we work that out because they usually won't even have them on aliexpress so if you move the conversation outside of aliexpress and ask for different options not only can you get faster shipping but it also opens the door to negotiating prices and remember to just always look for different options you might like type your products into aliexpress and you'll see that all of them only use ePacket. Make sure to, like I said, message the suppliers. Look on other websites, let's say Alibaba. Email some of those suppliers and see what they can offer. See if they can offer drop shipping and different things like that. Currently, I am drop shipping my products with an overseas supplier and shipping is taking about 10 to 15 days. And that's actually not a long time. People are okay with waiting a week, a week and a half for their products to arrive that is not everyone can be Amazon so that's just standard shipping for some people and I'm telling you this because all it took was us realizing that we had to change in 2021 even in 2020 we started in 2020 that it just wasn't the same anymore people were calling too many chargebacks and it was just taking too long it was not a fun experience for the customers to shop with us so that's when we really went in and we started talking to these suppliers and lo and behold they all had or most had other shipping options that were a lot faster the third thing that you need to know if you're going to start drop shipping in 2021 is that you should not be turned away by competition or saturation or thinking that there's not going to be any market space for you i honestly believe that that's a very scarce way of thinking i like to think that there's literally abundance everywhere there's abundance for my store to thrive and my competitor's store to thrive and we can all thrive and shine and make our online sales there's so many people in the world it is not like all of us were gonna start drop shipping and start selling the exact same thing because there's so many different products and so many different markets to tackle and some things that somebody might want to sell another person just is not interested in selling for example i ran into the store the other day that only sold 
hunting apparel gear and like things for hunting and they were definitely drop shipping and i was like i would not even get into this maybe i understand if there's a product that like a lot of people are all just selling it and you see this product everywhere and like everybody's already seen this product okay then i understand that you can't sell that product anymore because of that product might be saturated i recommend that you just always stick to a high vibration abundance mindset and think that anything that you do you're gonna thrive at it no matter what Okay, so the fourth thing that you need to know whenever you're starting dropshipping in 2021 is another misconception that I want to clear up, and that is that the profit margins whenever you dropship are low. And I just want you to know that it always depends on you and how you're doing things. First of all, if you're selling things for a really low price and giving yourself very little margins, then your profit margins are probably going to be low because you're not giving yourself enough Space to sell the product but it's also important to know that you can't just overprice products you can't sell a five dollar item for like twenty five dollar margins it just it doesn't work that way people kind of see now what is cheap and what isn't so i believe that the new way of drop shipping is to stay away from really cheap items that you can boost the price by five or ten dollars and you make a quick profit it does not really work that way anymore i definitely see drop shipping moving more towards high quality goods that you can increase the price of it by 20 maybe 25 dollars because the value is there the product holds the value that you're pricing it at and some people are going to be like oh well you're going to be buying a product and increasing it by 25 dollars and that's kind of what happens in the distribution model i've said this before but there's the manufacturer the wholesaler the retailer the customer and then like the distributor there's like so many people involved in the distribution channel from when the product is made to when it is delivered to the customer all these different companies and all these different people are going to be taking a percentage of the product and the product's price is going to be increasing anyways to the price at which you're going to be selling it at you're just cutting out all of the middle people And last but not least, the fifth thing that you need to know before you get started in 2021, and it is the most talked about problem in the dropshipping community, is the Facebook account disables the restrictions, account bans, and people are just thinking that it's going to be impossible to dropship. There is way more platforms that you can advertise on. I've seen so many people find success with dropshipping from Pinterest ads, some people Snapchat ads, Google ads. There's so many different platforms. If you literally just cannot figure out Facebook, that should not be the reason why you stop dropshipping completely. If you really want to do something, you're going to figure out how to do it, whether that's going to different platforms or figuring out Facebook. Leah and I created the Facebook Unlock the Blueprint that has helped so many people continue running their ads even after an account ban. There is borrowing accounts from people. There's just so many different things that you can do and the main thing is that you have to problem solve. So you guys, that was the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you guys here next time.